Well, welcome to a new Harry's Garage video. And yes, we are not in a garage. We are just up the road from King's Cross, right in the centre of London, because I'm at our Peretti Limited, who specialised in Fiat 500s, classic Fiat 500s. And if you might have watched one of my videos earlier, just before Christmas, where we tried to get the engine going on our classic Fiat 500, and I mentioned then, I'm gonna have an engine change on it and have a Fettel of that car in 2024. And that's about what we're gonna do. The car came down here a couple of days ago. Steph Peretti is behind in the workshop here. This is a very busy workshop. It took months to get this car booked in and you'll see why, how much work is happening behind this curtain where we go through there. And yesterday he gave me a call, he's got the engine out and there's a few surprises that we're gonna discuss. So in this video, we're gonna have a look at that discuss what we're going to do with the car just get a sense of the magic of this plate next year is their 60th anniversary of being on this site festling classic fiat 500s but also fulvias they got into lancia integrales all sorts of things it's an italian car mecca right in the center of london let's go inside steph Thank you for the invite. What a nice place this again. is. A car. There's so many things to see. And look, it's one of these. Yeah, Chardonnay. Yeah. We just don't see them, do we? So this is a, this is a sort of Fiat 500 like mine to there. Oh, it's got, it's, it's an early one then. They're also side door. Oh, are they? they yeah, wow. right, to, right to the end. Yeah, so this is the practical one with lots of space in it, isn't it? So this is the, the estate version. Yeah, so to make it useful yeah they made the engine flat yeah and that's still a 500 cc yeah engine. still 500 cc they didn't uprate it even though it's a bit bigger and things no uh, no it's a heavier vehicle um yeah so yeah it's slower um and very noisy right <laughs> is it yeah. i have to say when i was at primary school there was a mum who delivered the kids in one of these oh, the kids. Kids. yeah yeah, I used to see it outside. Fantastic. She's a big lady as well. And, well she yeah. look, you look big in one of these anyway, don't they? Because they're tiny. But oh. yeah, I want to see how you've been getting on. Because yeah. you've been quite so, busy, haven't you? Yeah, good progress. It yeah. sort of looks normal. This is this is so annoying on mine. I would, because it hasn't got the handle to open no. it, hasn't it? Yeah. But uh, the engine is missing. Oh, looks. I have to say, it's quite tidy, that. It's no oil leaks coming off the... Oh, that's loose, is it? No, that's normal. That's normal. Yeah, right? that is normal. And I mean, it'll be worth... While, while we have it out, it'll be worth changing the oil seal. Yes, so right. Put the shaft I'll seal. look at there. Yeah. While we're there. And it's straightforward coming out, was it? Yeah, it was pretty... pretty. Yeah, pretty easy. I can't say, I can't say there were any difficulties taking it out. No. What no? have you done? You've done a few, <laughs> haven't you? Just a few. Yeah. So, it, yeah, just a little bit of history to what happens here then. It was set up by your father. Yeah, my dad. Um, he set it up in 1965 on these yeah. premises. Yeah. Um, didn't have a, the yard at the time, but just had the workshop. So now he's got the yard. And he's been doing fits since, well, since he was a kid. So... Well, that um, was yeah. They when these were new, they were like yeah, five hundred pounds, weren't they? I seem to remember that sort of money. Yeah, they were. Um, there were a few around. I, mean, I was always surprised how many you saw. Uh, obviously, in Italy, they were just mm. everywhere. Yeah, but no, so. he, he's. I mean, he always had. He always had a client list of five hundred, six hundred, much rarer. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then you got into other, a few other cars. Your temptation of other things, wasn't there? You did. Yeah, a um, bit of Arbath racing and oh, right. yeah, 600 Arbath, 1000 TC. Yeah. Did, did, did some racing. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's really the, our heart is with the, with the classic 500s. Yeah. 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 Well, that's why I came yeah. here yeah. because yeah, I just thought it was a great mm. place to do. And I just wanted to enhance the engine slightly. Mm. And uh, yeah, it's 595 competition here. So you're doing modern Fiat's here as well, though. Yeah, we do. We just love the brand. I mean, they're great fun. The Arbas are a, a fantastic car. Well, yeah. Well, and I think well, I just dropped by here the other day. And you're saying you, you are the only people who can service Fiat inside London now. Which not well, the only people, but, but we seem to be the, the, the. Yeah, there's not many. There, there's no dealers anymore. I can't yeah. believe that because yeah. they were everywhere. There's a twin air engine down there, isn't there? Just mm, yeah, yeah, really clever engine. They are that one. They are. But when yeah. they work, when they work. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I love this and a GTV of 1600. Is it 17? This is GT Junior 1600. 1600 with the yeah. engine just hanging there, so you know where it is. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, oily bits. Yeah. 
Here it is. All in pieces. Doesn't take long, really. We're a 500, he no, says. But no, yeah. it's just, yeah. If you know how to do it, it's, uh, it's fairly quick. Yeah, so air cool, so there's all the yeah, covers over there. Yeah. Well, it's almost, I always think, motorbike-like. Very, yeah, very yeah. similar. Now, when I put it on the trailer, I noticed it, it was dripping petrol, and it was all very odd. I mean, this, this is more like fuel than oil. That is, yeah. So was, some that, that came out the sump, so... That, yeah, that's not good. No. Fortunately, it has not run. We did start in the garage, but very quickly. No. Didn't do anything with no. it. But that's caused by the carburetor sort of overflowing, isn't I, it? I think, yeah, it's just, it's just been just siphoning in through. Not good, but luckily it, didn't, it wasn't run with it. No. So no damage that I could see. It's a funny engine, this, because when I bought it, this is the original, I bought it at auction, 14th of October 2015. Gosh. It was the General Police of Palermo who had this car, and um, personally accounted for the current total mileage of 30,000 kilometres. So I, I have no idea if any of this was true, but it, we'll go into other details. How much wear was on this engine, what you've seen so far? Well, I mean, the evidence is it's been rebuilt, so... <laughs> Which is so, so it's in, it's, So it's impossible to tell. No. Well, um, if I go through the video... Sorry, go through the auction description. Yeah. The other bit was the vendor, a friend of the general of police, mm. um, never doing it. it could, the car has lived among the general's collection of some 250 specialist vehicles. Oh, what goodness. sort of general police has a two, <coughs> 250 you... specialist vehicles? And among his 30 strong staff are engineers with 50 years of experience of the model. And in recent times, it's had plenty of attention. So mm. we do wonder if they've, someone has obviously fettled this engine. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. <laughs> Which I sort of, well, yeah, we ought to explain, yeah, yeah viewers, what, what you've discovered. Okay. So what we've discovered is it's not a Fiat 500 engine. Yeah. Um, the <laughs> the, uh, the block is. Right. Um, but what they've done is they've put new liners in and new pistons, so they've gone up to 594cc. 594, right. CC. Right, because I was coming in, that was the conversion I hoped you were going to do on it. Well, yeah. we discussed. Yeah. And we're already there. Indeed. And, and how new are the pistons and how long's that been in there, do you think? Well, I think it's been in there quite a while, but I don't think it's covered that many miles. It's got right. you know, this one, I mean, that's, I've just cleaned the top of that. This one has got some carbon build up, yeah. uh, but I haven't measured the wear yet. Um, mm -hmm. There aren't any score marks or not, nothing to really worry about, but the, yeah. we, we have got some sort of water staining inside. Oh yeah. Where Well we were in the budget to replace them anyway. Yeah. So I'm intrigued by this because the one surprise when I bought this car home mm. and we used to go out in it, mm. it would get to seventy seventy five just easy. Just was, yeah. it was it's not I can't say it was quick, no. but it wasn't as slow as I remember them being. No, I, and on the outside yeah. there was no hint that anything had been done. There's nothing in the description, there was no trick exhaust on it. But it always went really rather well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So that sort of explains it. <coughs> Indeed. Yeah. So the um, and also it's got it's got a non-standard cam in it. Right. Um, but interestingly, um, when they when they do wear, they yeah. lose oil pressure through the cam bearing. Yes. Which is part of the block. Oh, yeah. So this one's had a replacement. Oh, right. Um, had a collar put in. Yeah. It. So I would assume that this engine did previously have quite a bit of wear in it. So, yes, so, so I think the 30,000 is... Yeah, the could description be, could be 130, so couldn't it? It's really been yeah. much closer than probably 130. Because it's old, isn't it? It's 1972. Yeah. One. And the crank, how's that looking? The crank, um, the crank looks nice, but um, I did have a quick measure up, and I think it's going to have to have... It's, it's a standard um, cut on it. Right. I think it's going to probably have to definitely have a, uh, a first cut on the okay. on the mains. Yeah. Um, and then the big ends will, will double check. But I think the, the big ends might, might go standard again. Right. Um, you see the core plug yes. trying to force its way out. What's doing that then? Um, usually when, usually high oil pressure um, will do that. If the, if the pressure relief valve is stuck. Right. Um, or just simply vibration that does that. Right. So mm. nothing particularly scary. What have we got No, down no. Here? So, so we got, uh, I mean, the cylinder head. Uh, obviously, we'll strip that down and check the valve guides because uh, they do tend to wear valve guides on these. Right. But um, it's, 
I mean, we, we will measure the volumes there, but I think we're going to end up skimming that because it looks like it, do, it has quite low compression. Right. Um, so it has not been skimmed. Though. It hasn't been skimmed, but this again is not a standard head. It's oh, um, not a standard head. N well, no, it's, it's not a 500 head, I should say. Right. It's, it's, it looks like a 500R head. Well, that's a later It's head. a later head, yeah. Right. Which, of course, they were made, this, the 500R was made in Sicily. Right. Uh, and with it being based yeah. in Palermo. Yeah, but that right. engine number is a 500 engine number. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well. And, and the other thing in Italy... So not a 126 yeah, engine. Not a 126 no. engine, no. no. It's definitely a 500 yeah. engine. The numbers are 500. Okay. Yeah. What's over there? That's your oil filter. Centrifugal oil filter, which is full of gunge. I don't like those. I just don't like the idea of them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean. And there, so you can. I don't know if you can. So instead of having a paper filter or a cartridge, this yeah. ca this car it basically spins spins the out the dirt to out the outside. Yeah. See oh, this right. one. Yeah. Has got quite a lot. Oh God. That's the crud. So, yeah. yeah. So that's not thirty thousand kilometres. No. No. <laughs> isn't it odd how they've changed some bits and haven't looked at that? Yeah. It is, isn't it? Yeah. With these thirty strong people doing maintenance, all experts in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you like auction descriptions? Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> Buyer beware. Yeah, very much so. Um, and then it'll need a new chain and okay. uh, and gears because they're worn. Right. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, so. Carburetor. Carburetor. It's got a, a, a one two six carburetor on it, or a six fifty style carb, twenty okay. twenty eight IMB. Yeah. Um, and on the 126, they have a return, but you should never block them off like that. They need to be either have a proper return or right. block them off. Um, we, we basically drill them, tap them, and put a, um, a bolt right. uh, on them to, to blank them off. So that is not a sign of good mechanic at all? No, it's just, yeah. you know, you've got, you got the, the fuel's just going to seep through the threads yeah. on that. Yeah. And it's, yeah, we've seen too many of these uh, come off and then right. the cars catch fire. Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. But and a modded, yeah, a bigger carburetor as well to go with a bigger CC. Yeah, so that will work nicely with that. Um, okay. Obviously, it's got a defect which we need to work out. Yes, the float isn't doing its job, is it? Indeed. In there. Yeah. Okay. Distributor. Yeah, distributor. Uh, just standard 500 distributor, which is the same on the 500R. Right. Um, so that will just get a, an overhaul, but right. um, can't see anything untoward okay. with that. Okay. I thought so you might upgrade that, but. To electronic. Well, you can do. Yeah. Um, okay. Well, we'll discuss. I'll yeah, we can do. Yeah. do. Is mm. there anything else here worth looking at? We're just going to have a look at the yeah the fun bits that we're going to fit to this engine. Go and have a look next door. Yeah, sure. Uh, oh, the toy shop. <laughs> See if I go around this way. Yeah. This is where you keep all the goodies. <laughs> yes. And do the sort of final engine build bits. That's right. That's yeah. where it all happens. My, mine isn't clean enough to come in here quite yet, Not is yet, it? No. But there are some bits in here that you've done, isn't it? That's that's the first bit we're going to change, isn't it? This. Yeah, we're going to have similar sump to this, which is a, a larger capacity sort of Arbar style yeah. sump. Does it say Arbar? This one oh, does. Oh, it does. Yeah, so right. And that you sort of see, when you follow a fit of and you see one of those, you think, oh, hello. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's got something Indeed. in this end. I think that makes sense because it hasn't got a huge amount of oil capacity anyway. No, it? no, it aids, aids the cooling and we like, if, if the engine's a little bit hotter, yeah. then it, it stiffens the block. Right. Um, so, which, yeah, all so, makes sense. So, yeah, yes, please, to one yeah, of those. Yeah, so tick to that. Yeah, and then... This is a fast road cam. Um, nice. When they say fast road, yes. <laughs> in the world of 500, it's a fast road cam. Yes. Um, so that just increases, uh, obviously, power, but also you get more torque from this. Oh, good. So oh, it's quite okay. a nice cam. I mean, they're really mild. It's a standard setup, isn't it? Oh, the it's standard hard. setup is so mild. Yeah. Yeah. Or uh, so yeah, we're not talking craziness. We're not adding wear by adding giant lift or not. not at all you don't have to do it with this type of lift you don't have to modify anything at all I mean, yeah. we, we like you need to increase the compression ratio right to get the cam to work otherwise it's you, you know it's, it's pointless i can't remember what do you know roughly what the standard compression is really roughly does. seven and a half seven point six to one 
And you go up to try to go near to ten as we can. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Right. Because a standard five hundred is seventeen, eighteen horse, yeah, isn't it? Something yeah. re- mad. Eighteen, nineteen, something like that. Yeah. I can't, re- yeah. can't remember exactly. Just nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a, yeah. Anyway, we're not trying to build a hot rod. You know, <laughs> no. we're not going down a Gordon Murray high or busser in the back yeah. or one yeah. of these. Nothing. So like we're that. gonna. The original plan was five nine five, five yeah. nine four. Yeah. Um, and as we've discovered, that's what we've already got. So we're going to stay with that. Plan. Yeah. yeah, yeah, absolutely. Because yeah, we got you've got this as I a temptation, these. haven't you? Yeah, I was t- trying to tempt people with it because it was a nice. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot more work, a lot more modifying. Yeah, it's got these lovely. Oh, looks like nine eleven stuff, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, nice yeah. and Tweet. light. Compared and all weight. Oh, I mean, just yeah. <gasps> and that lovely. Yeah, no stop. Oh, short skirts, Teflon coated pistons. Yeah. What CC are we up to with this then? Those are six nine five. Oh, I see. So it's hardly got any cooling, but you you rely on the aluminium being a. The aluminium is, is a better choice. cooler. Right. You know, depends how hot you go as to if you add an oil cooler or not. Right. Um, but generally. Uh, oh, you need an oil cooler once you go to. If you start really. Yeah. Yeah. And where's the old cooler go? Is that? Uh, there's there's lots of different ways of doing it, um, but traditionally they use the timing chain cover oh, where inside. the oil pump's built into there. Yeah. No, you have the outlet from there, and then you put a radiator somewhere in the engine compartment. Okay. Ideally on the cool side, which is. Uh, is this where you start seeing the yeah. propped open? Yeah. I mean, right. that's when you're talking about going racing. My sort of mantra of this car, uh, Mrs. M really likes this car, mm-hmm. and I sort of wanted not to notice that anything's particularly happened. Okay. So I don't, yeah, that's why we're not going too crazy. No, indeed. Yeah. Exhaust? Uh, the exhaust is going to be a troublesome one because mm. you've got that quite sexy thing hanging up there, but yeah. uh, uh, rare. I think it, the exhaust has to change from standard. Doesn't yeah. it? Is that what would you fit a standard exhaust on this? Is there anything to be gained? I would definitely go with a slightly better exhaust than standard. There is enough to be gained from a from a right. decent exhaust, but it doesn't have to be loud. Okay, I'd like it to have that standard look about it, apart yeah. from the extended sump. That would yeah. that would be my yeah. happy place. The cylinder head. You're going to do things with that, aren't you? Got yeah, well, there. yeah. This one, this one's just a standard. 500 right um, which has got slightly increased compression yeah that's had a skim hasn't yeah it, it's one? had it has had a skim um, but normally on the head I'll have to measure the volumes but on the head that you've got we might end up taking as much as two mil off the head oh, really yeah right okay um, and you're only going to have a single carb on this one because you do a 40 conversion yeah there's twin 40s up there you yeah. can do that's overkill because it's only got a single inlet hasn't yeah it's it? got a single inlet <laughs> Yeah, on the top, it breathes yeah, through. Is it that breathes through hole? that, so you are restricted with that. Yeah, but you do a bit of gas flowing or something. We do. On here. Yeah, we'll do a bit of gas flowing. Um, we'll do a bit of work on the valves, uh, just to get a much better flow. Gas flow. So we're not changing it up in the size of the valves. It's literally head work. It's head work. It, yeah, from yeah. however many years, decades of experience yes. now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's excellent. Right. Yeah. Okay. So that's that's. I think that's all engine bits we're going to do, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, the only thing, yeah, just yeah, that is a, got a trick That's one. one of the, yeah, that's is that a one, two, pro- three. One, two, three programmable. Yeah. Which I've had not so good experience with. Maybe just do a, another conversion on it. Because you're saying the thing about distributor on a 500, it gets hot, isn't it? In terms yeah. position, being right above the exhaust. Right. So we just have a quick look back at the car and just yeah, see if sure. there's any other stuff we need yeah. to do. So, your next plans with this then, tidy it all up, tidy it, it. Yeah, get it all cleaned. Is Some careful measuring. Careful measuring to see what needs machine. So yep. the crank does look as if you have a little grind on there. Yep, here's we're gonna do. Block just needs proper degreasing. Um, right. cylinder, well, we're gonna change piston and cylinders okay. for new. Yeah. yeah. Then we'll get all the bits blasted and powder coated. Right. Then the car, what we're going to do with this, is there things you've mm. seen with this that we ought to do? Um, to be honest, I haven't really gone through it properly. Um, yeah. I mean, just on first impressions, it looks like a nice usable car. It's not, not been over-restored. Just check the wiring on it and lights. I'd like, if there's an upgrade on lights, yeah. that would be good. Okay. Um, and what's the braking system like? 
Well, the brakes are on. It's on drum brakes, but the, the brakes worked. were never an issue. Yeah, and I did try it once we got it started, and it pulled up straight. All seemed to be fine. Yeah, what have we got in hiding under there? I don't think there's anything scary in there. No, it looks quite tidy. Yeah, I think it's had a new wiring loom in it. Actually. Certainly, the wires look fresh. Yeah, it's all, I think it's had a replacement. Yeah, it's got. Front, looks it? like it's got some nice wax oil going around it. Yeah. So nothing too scary there. But yeah, just if there's, there's a way of upping the candle power of the headlights, that would be nice. You can certainly do that. Have a look. And the quarter light on that side is a pain, but I don't know why. On the dual. Yeah, they're not unfortunately they're they're, they're never very good and the replacement ones are even worse. Are they? So yeah. we just so it's, it up well with. although so yeah, this needs they're frustrating because quarter lights are really nice. <laughs> I always think there's a vent yeah. system, but it yeah, just so doesn't. So fit. someone has replaced it already with one of the duff. Oh right. But That's they haven't. They haven't. Fit. Yeah, yeah. They haven't done it well either. So um, I would love that to be done. Yeah, yeah. yeah that would I'm be sure good. we can. We'll be able okay. to improve that. Okay. Um, I've noticed the time. It is two minutes past one. Yeah. And there's a bit of a tradition that happens in this workshop, isn't there, at lunchtime? Yeah, it's pasta time. Pasta time. <laughs> so Italian that the whole place stops for its own pasta. Yeah, yeah no visiting anywhere else. It, it's here. So I think I can see it steaming over there. Yeah, you're going to join us? Yeah, I think I will. So I'll come back in a few weeks to see how this all is going. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video on what's happening with the Fiat 500 and it's going to get this fantastic engine build in this workshop that have done it so many times before. We're going to follow the journey. I'm off to have some pasta. If you like this video, keep watching, keep subscribing. More videos coming on very soon. Plates. Yeah, I know, Italian plates as well. Amazing. Just need a glass of wine. <laughs> yeah, Peroni or something like that. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it'll be alright. We're still alright. Do anything for free lunch, won't we?